This microphone is the OC818 from Austrian Audio. And although it may look as if it's a very basic, normal condenser microphone, it actually has a few very special tricks up its sleeve. So let's take a look. So out of the box you can use the OC818 as a pretty traditional microphone. I mean it has the polar pattern you're used to, it has a high pass filter and it also has a built in attenuator. However if you look more closely you'll actually see that it has more options in the polar pattern section. And there are actually two settings that I like to talk more about. So let's first start with the setting that looks like an omnidirectional setting, it's the black dot setting. I don't know how to call it. And that is actually the bluetooth setting. So this is a Bluetooth dongle that you can plug into the microphone to set your own polar pattern. And you can literally print this in the microphone. So you set it with the Bluetooth dongle, remove the dongle, and then you have your own custom polar pattern. Now quite honestly I found the options to be a bit limited and I don't really know if it's worth the extra 150 euros that they are asking for this. However, it is of course cool that it's capable of doing that. Now the reason why this microphone can do this with these, these polar patterns is because it has two membranes or two... I actually don't really know how they're doing it, but it has two outputs. So you have the regular output on the bottom and you can also use the Bluetooth port with a conversion cable, it's included in the box, for the second output. And when you then switch it to the, well I call it the dual mode, you can do all kinds of things with it. And what I found to be the coolest thing to do with it is using their Polar Designer. I have the Polar Designer plugin over here and I'm going to wear my in-ears so that I can hear what I'm actually doing. And in the Polar Designer plugin, uh, let me put it to zero latency right now because um, uh, hearing yourself back with a latency is kind of annoying. And it's even more annoying if you've just invested a lot in RME gear to not have any latency anymore. And then the first video you're recording, you do have latency. It's a bit annoying. What you can do here is, uh, again, uh, design the polar pattern for the full microphone. And uh, as you can hear, it's actually doing it on my signal. So if we go out of zero latency and I um, step over the fact that I'm hearing myself with a little bit of delay, we can now change the polar pattern per band. So we have five bands, five adjustable bands of which we can change the polar pattern. Now I'm, I'm recording on Omni right now, which isn't, uh, which isn't like the coolest setting. So let me switch it for instance to this. Really cool thing is that you can now uh, for instance say like, hey, uh, I, I actually want to have a figure of eight on my, my mid frequencies or, or omnidirectional on my mid frequencies. Really cool stuff. Coolest thing about this is you just record both the outputs uh, as raw as possible, so through preamp directly into your converter. And then later on, you can put this plugin on there and change the polar pattern of your microphone. Now, there are a few more features in here that I found really cool that I just wanna, wanna talk about. Uh, the first one is the equalization control. So how Austrian Audio is explaining this, if I'm understanding it correctly, is that uh, when you are changing uh, the polar pattern throughout your frequency spectrum, the equalization can also change of the sound. And if you want to keep it the same, you can use equalization control. And when using free field, you are actually uh, keeping the equalization, the tonal balance of the sounds that are in the polar pattern of the microphone. <laughs> If you understand it. And diffuse field is the opposite. So this is more for off-axis recording. So when 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 it's more like to to the to to, to the side. I found I found this to be a really cool thing. And because they have the two capsules, they can do a lot of uh, cool things. Another thing that is really cool, which I mean like really cool is the proximity control. So as you can hear, and actually every single cardioid microphone um, suffers from this, there is a proximity effect to this microphone. So when I get closer, um, my voice sounds fuller. And when I get further away, my voice will sound thinner. And with the proximity control, we can control that effect, the proximity effect. Uh, we can make it even uh, worse. So uh, now I will sound really thin and uh, closer up, I, I will still sound the same. It should be at least. But if I change it the other way around, you will see that my voice will still sound 
fuller. This is a setting that I would be a bit careful with, uh, most of all in, in less controlled rooms. And I think even on this recording, if you listen carefully, you would start to hear certain things. They're doing some, some trickery and some witchcraft by, by setting certain frequencies to omnidirectional. However, it's a really cool setting. It's a really cool setting. Now, this is all really cool, of course. However, it has two membranes. So there's another thing it should be able to do, right? It should be able to record stereo as well. And yes, that is possible. You can record a stereo source with this microphone as well. And then you can also after the recording or during the recording, uh, use their stereo creator plugin to tweak the recording. Now the stereo creator plugin looks like this. So you can use it as an uh, MS setup and you can use it as a normal stereo setup and you can change all the all the different uh, characters from this. Now this is all cool of course, but this recording is not stereo. I mean, there's only one of me. I think a lot of people are glad about that, just one. So what I did to better demo the stereo capabilities of this microphone is record the accordion played by Fieke, who is not only a very good musician, but also a very talented audio engineer. So it was really cool to work with another audio engineer on this on this thing. So in the clip you'll see, you will hear this microphone, but for the comparison, you will also hear a stereo setup made out of two Neumann KM184 microphones and an MS setup made out of two Lewitt microphones, the LCT440 for the mid and the 1040 for the figure of eight. <laughs> I didn't have anything else. And just for fun, we've also recorded a bit further away placed setup of two U47s. Now you will see a layover of what microphone pair you are listening to. All the files will be available on Patreon. You can download the files and play with it yourself. You can put the stereo creator on it and that kind of stuff. All the audio that you are hearing is unprocessed, just so you know. So yeah, that's it. That's how the OC818 sounds and works. And if you want to buy one, it costs 999 euros, uh, depending on the shop, of course, and, and the VAT and that kind of stuff. But for me, it would cost 999 euros. You can also keep it short and just say 1,000 euros. That's not how marketing works. And it's actually pretty surprising. I mean, for a good microphone, this is a very affordable price point. The Bluetooth dongle, however... Um, I don't really see any added value in that thing. But that could also be my my own thing, maybe. I would just rather record the dual output and then use the plugin. Because there are way more possibilities that way and that's free. And this is 150 euros. 
Anyway, that's it for this video. Huge thanks to Fika for playing the accordion and huge thanks to Krijn for filming the video and doing a bit of the editing. Also huge thanks to Austrian Audio for sending me this microphone. And for the disclosure, that's also all they did. They just sent me this microphone. No instructions at all, only that I needed to send it back before a certain date. Um, but no instructions on, on how to make the video or whatever. Everything that I'm saying is my complete independent opinion. And I do not have the feeling that I'm being limited in what I can say and what I can't say. And if you like my independence and want to support it, make sure to do that by using my affiliate link in the description down below. Uh, I'll also put them as a QR code on the screen. So you have Toman over here and Sweetwater over here. And when you use the QR codes or the links uh, and then buy something in those shops. So if you need something, uh, please use my affiliate links. You're not paying anything extra, but you are supporting the studio in a financial way because they are paying me a little bit of your purchase. Another way to support me is by pledging a bit to my Patreon campaign. If you're that type of person on Patreon, you get early access to videos, answers to your questions, and some other good stuff. Check it out, it's all on Patreon. And also the file downloads, by the way. They're also on Patreon. Last way to support me and the whole YouTube platform is by staying on it and watching more videos. So I'll link one of my videos over here. But if you're interested in something else, make sure to watch that. So they will be linked uh, around this video. YouTube has a very good algorithm. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Keep pushing. And bye-bye.